I've been bowling at Cloverleaf for 40 years. Three years? I've been going here my whole entire life. Cloverleaf's got a lot of programs going on for the, the seniors and for the young people. And all over Fremont, everybody knows Cloverleaf. I just have met so many friends here. It's just a place where I can be. Everybody's real welcoming. Bowling is all about fun. I feel like this place is like family. I've been on the payroll for 44 plus years. Cloverleaf Family Bowl was built in 1959. My grandfather, I believe, was in San Jose, like in a donut shop, and happened to wander next door, a real estate office, and on the counter was a flyer with selling Cloverleaf Bowl. And so he thought, oh, that sounds kind of cool. We all love the bowl, let's go check it out. And bought Cloverleaf Bowl in 1963. If I had to stay home and do a chore, I was like just devastated. I'd talk my mom and take me to the bowl when I'm done, you know, let me do the bowl in LA. You know, my, in the summer, like, I'd come to work with my dad and I'd hang out all day. My mom would always tell me as a kid, you, you know, you don't get to go to the bowl and hang out, you have to work. I, I wasn't even 10 years old and I'm breaking tiles off the floor, filling garbage cans and having somebody come in and dump them because I couldn't lift them, of course, and I would do that all day. She said, you're not going to be a bowl in alley bum. And I, I'm sorry, mom, I think I, I am. You know, but it's turned out okay. You know, this is almost every day of my life. This is where you go. It's certainly something that we love and you get up in the morning and you go to work and it's not like, oh God, I gotta go to the bowling alley today. I gotta, you know, it's, you don't usually have that. Mike Hillman is, is really great to work for. So is Jim. They treat me like family. They, they do. That's, if I need something, they're there to do it. They don't even bat an eye. They don't question it they're there. I am actually probably here probably six days a week, whether I'm working or bowling. I would safe to say that I love bowling enough to be here. I could probably be here seven days a week and not bat an eye at it. I've been doing it since I was five. I bowled for college. My parents bowled, my grandparents bowled, so it's pretty much there. I would say 90% of my friends are bowlers, so it's kind of how I've grown as a person is through bowling. It's a Fremont gem, yeah, like if you were born here, you know exactly about Cloverleaf. Anyone's always down to hang out here because it's been Everybody here. Knows it. It's been here all of our lives. They know the staff, we know the bartenders, and they, we always say hi to have a conversation. It's just more comforting to be here. Friendly, and like, yeah. You don't want to go to Milpitas or San Jose, and those places are usually like a lot bigger, more packed, and less personal as opposed to here. We have a bunch of memories here. Like we were actually here exactly one year ago and I was just showing him the video. I was like, hey, remember that one time we were at Cloverleaf? <laughs> like literally a year ago, like our yeah. friends were dancing and stuff. Like we were bowling and I don't know, it's just, it's just like It just brings so, good, so much uh, memories. Default. Yeah. Everybody down here has got aches and pains. They come down here and they bowl on a Monday, Thursday. They bowl five days a week. It's inspiring to see them down here bowling, socializing. It means everything, everything in the world. Most of us don't want to give that day up, and we'll postpone everything, even doctor's appointments, and uh, it's something to look forward to. You stand there and you just hear it. You hear the fun, yelling and moaning, or whatever they're doing out here bowling right now when, on the good shots and bad shots, and I'm not near it, but I can still hear it. It's just a sound, and it's just people having fun.